Hi there! This week we are starting into HTML coding. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. We will be creating basic web pages with the HTML code. Uh, to begin, you're going to want to launch Notepad. Notepad is a simple text editor in the Windows environment, whereas TextEdit is the simple uh, typing doc, uh, file in the Macintosh. So we're going to begin by talking about what are called tags. Tags make up HTML codes. The tags um, are enclosed inside of less than and greater than brackets. There are basically four HTML tags that would be in each of your HTML documents. They are the HTML tag, the head tag, the title tag, and the body tag. Notice each tag ends with a greater than sign. Most tags that you open have to also be closed. and You work your way from the inside out. So we need to close the body tag. You do that with the extra slash sign in front of the same tag name. Okay, and I'm going to also close my HTML tag. I'm going to close the title tag. And I'm going to close the head tag. The HTML tag simply states that this is an HTML document. The head tag contains information about your file, such as meta tags, which will help search engines find and rank your sites in the uh, browsers. And the title tag is what will appear on the browser's title bar. It should be a descriptive name of your document. So any text you want to appear goes in between opening and closing tags. So I'm going to key just the text I want to appear on my browser window, which I'm just going to do something simple. This is my first HTML page. The body is where the content goes that you want uh, to appear on your web page. It doesn't matter where on the page, where in the lines um, the tags are, um, but your text that's going to appear on the page needs to go between the opening and closing body tags. I'm just going to key some random text in here. And um, right now, the only thing that would appear on my page itself is this line of type right here. Let's test that out. We'll start by saving. Now, by default, it will save it as a TXT file. We need it to be an HTM or HTML file. So I'm going to create myself a little folder on the desktop. I'm just going to call it my first site. And the first page of every uh, website file, your home page, should receive the name index. And because Notepad gives it a TXT automatic extension, I need to key in the file extension, which is going to be .htm. Okay. You can also use HTML, but HTM is the standard. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to minimize that file. I'm going to go to a new browser window. Press Control-0 to open, and I'm going to go out to the desktop, find my storage location, and open my site. And right now, this is my first HTML file. HTML coding is fun. Don't you like it so far? And that's exactly what I said on my Notepad file. Let me switch back to Notepad. Oh, wait, you can't see that because it's not inside the window. Sorry about that, guys. There you go. You can see this is my first HTML file. Okay, I'm going to minimize that, go back to HTML, and do a little bit of formatting. Um, I want to put a paragraph break in between my two sentences. So I can do that with the P tag. The P tag does not require a closing tag. So I'm going to save my changes, and I'm going to go back to Chrome. I'm going to press F5 to refresh my page, and now you should see we are on two separate lines of type. 
We can do formatting um, with heading tags or we can do formatting with style sheets and also the font tag. I'm not getting into style sheets in this particular course. Uh, we're just going to do some simple formatting. Um, we have heading tags which also encompass the paragraph tag. We have headings one through six. They do require an opening and closing tag. The lower the number, the larger the text is going to be. So let me replace my T pat tag with uh, H6 going from the biggest to the smallest. I'm going to save my changes, bring up my browser window, F5 to refresh it, and you can see the largest text to the smallest text. Okay. Some other things I can do in HTML is um, using the font tag. So let me go to a new line, create a paragraph tag, and I'm going to say this is font formatting. We can, whoops, bold, italicize, and underline. We can also change the font color, size, and face. Okay. So bolding, I'm going to put a bold tag, which is simply just the letter B, and close it right after the word or words I want to be bold. Do the same thing for italics, which is an I, for italicize or italics. Close it. And then U is underlining, although you don't often want to underline text. When we get into creating hyperlinks and whatnot next week, you will see um, that hyperlinks are automatically underlined. And on the web, when you underline something, uh, it signifies to the user that it is a hyperlink. So you only use underlining when absolutely necessary. I'm just using it to show you how it is done. And let's uh, save and bring up our browser, refresh it, and we can see we got bolding, italics, and underlining. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit with the font colors. Where's my notepad? There it is. A little bit with the font colors. Um, so we're going to say we can change the font color. Now this, we get into a little bit more coding. Um, we start with the font tag. And tags can have what are called attributes, which are characteristics. Font is the tag. In this situation, color is the attribute. We're going to set it equal to something which will be considered the value that goes inside of double quotes. I'm going to simply make it blue. Okay, this is the font color. And close my font tag. Notice when I'm closing, I'm only closing the tag. I do not need to close the attributes and type. We can do font size. I'm going to make it, I don't know, I'll say 12. And close my font tag. And then my font face, I would do primarily the same way with my attribute and my value. Okay, let me save. And refresh. And you can see we got bold, italics, underlining, font color, font size, and font face. Notice that Arial is different than your browser's default. Okay, we don't need to do those individually either. We can close my P tag here. We can put them all together. I closed my font tag, I forgot to open it. So I'm going to open it and put multiple attributes. Say my font face is going to be equal to Arial. My font color 
is going to be equal to green. You can either use hexadecimal um, coatings for your color, which is a combination of RGB, red, green, blue, or you can do color names. If you want to find out more about that, Google font face colors in HTML uh, inside Google or something. And then last but not least, I'm going to say my size is going to be equal to, and I'll do 10 in this instance. And let me save and preview. So you can do a combination of different HTML formatting. Okay, so that is the foundation of HTML. We will get into some more tags, including hyperlinks and images a little bit uh, later on in the course, and then you will be doing a finalized website. This week you're going to have a discussion and a simple HTML assignment that you will need to complete. So I hope you enjoyed this, and have a great day.